Hi, this is Joseph at Electric City Motors, and we're demoing our new Elvis software. It's the electric vehicle integration system, and currently we're using a Zap Zebra as our test bed. So you can see in the dash here a uh, motorized touchscreen, and we hit the button, and she'll come out and flip up and show us our battery information. So here we see all six batteries and the voltages. You can see that they're not nicely balanced right this minute. And if you click on any in particular battery, it brings up a history and any errors that occurred with that battery. So you can see the little graph here is just starting out, and it's running at 12.5 volts. And if I double tap the voltage there, it changes the scale automatically for me. And you can see the battery is bouncing between 12.4 and 12.5. Right now we don't have any errors, but if there were any errors, they would show up in this upper text box. So I'm going to close this, and up at the top here you see the total pack voltage, you see the state of charge, the number of amps that we're drawing. Right now our uh, M uh, connections, uh, we don't have the c it connected, and the temperature of the pack tracker itself is 55 degrees. It's a little cool this morning. And so now we're going to push the menu button, and we've got the uh, menus that come up for the settings, the cluster, the day evening, and if you watch the screen when I push the day evening, it clicks to a, uh, a screen that's more appropriate for nighttime driving. We'll go back to the daytime. We've got our cluster, which is going to show us the voltmeter, the ammeter, and a clock right now. Um, you can also add the temperature gauge and the different uh, details of that. I'm going to close this, go to menu. Uh, going to settings, and in our settings we've got different colors that we can change for the, the dashboard. Um, there's different uh, bar graph colors, uh, flash on battery error, what's called a magic menu, and then we've got some settings which we're, we're still playing with uh, some of the different parameters to be able to set minimum uh, and maximum, well, minimum voltage for an error to occur, a uh, different error to occur, and a uh, high amperage to, to show you something else. And we've also got the capabilities to uh, graph the amperage real time uh, for uh, future use uh, once we get the, uh, the um, uh, ammeter uh, connected. So that's it for now. And we just uh, wanted to show you our, uh, our system here. And uh, it's pretty straightforward and uh, very usable and very fun.